Hello, hello, live long and prosper, and I am not Yell Helek. And uh, so part one of this video was her video, and part three will be her video, and part four will be mine again, and so on and so forth. So what, Yell Helek is another channel, and she's a Let's Player like I am, but she's been doing it longer than I am, she's been doing it better than I am, and her videos are better quality than mine. But she and I have been friends for a few years, and we decided we we're going to do a new project in which we would both mutually play this game and just play off from where the last person uh, played. So this is actually her save file that she emailed me, and so I am playing where she left off. So for those of you who follow my channel who haven't heard of Yahalak or who don't follow her, please go and subscribe to her channel and watch her part one video, and then come back to this one. And then next week, um, make sure to watch part three, which will once again be on her channel. And then come back to my channel the following week for part four, and so on and so forth. So basically, we're both bringing our uh, both bringing our gaming talents to this uh, this game, which is called Armin's Prophecy, which is an old well, not old, it's a 2004 uh, RPG Maker role playing game. And RPG Maker games were basically um, games made by indie developers using the RPG Maker uh, program, which basically just creates old classic style 16-bit RPG games. But um, and uh, games like Armin's Prophecy, which we're playing um, today, uh, really quite popularized the RPG Maker genre, and you can find a lot of them on Steam, running for really cheap because they're they're easy to make, and a lot of and you can make a lot of them. A lot of developers make an easy buck uh, making RPG Maker games, but some of them are actually quite good. This being one of them, I was introduced to this game when I was a young child um, by my father. He had downloaded it because it was a free game, still is. You can find it on their website, and um, I liked it a lot. And I've, I've played it um, more than once, and I've played through it several other times as an adult. And uh, I actually, um, Yel Halek, um, I actually introduced this game to her, and uh, she really liked it. And eventually decided, since this is a game that we both know and love, we would go both play it together, hence this playthrough. So, I'm heading back down south to my uh, hometown of Elden. Because that's where I live. Trying to avoid the snakes because they'll one shit they'll they'll one hit kill you. So pick up some gold from these bees here and some breadcrumbs because as you all because as you all know, the um, bees carry plenty of uh, breadcrumbs and money. Dear Papa, I finally got named. Avril said I am to be a seamstress. Love, Jenna. And a seamstress, of course, is somebody who stitch, stitches clothes together. Um, the reason why I'm making a big deal out of that is simply because in the last video, if you remember, uh, Yelhalek had trouble uh, reading that last word. It's, it's seamstress, is what it is. What did Avril say you are to become? Stop dawdling, child. Tell the truth or lie. If you lie, the game will just end. Tell the truth. That old crow, how could she not name you? Aware that Grandmother is on the verge of finding and strangling Avriel, you try to soften the bad news. Avriel is sending me to the mainland. Some place called Theus. I don't like any of it. Leave, Elden? Don't worry, Grandmama. See, it's not just Grandma. She's Grandmama. That's even more special than Grandma. I promise I won't be gone long. Theus is on the mainland. The mainland is full of heathens. If you go, talk to Barbar first. Ask him to lend you one of his boys. I will not have you traveling without protection. So let's go talk to Barbar. Oh, by the oh, look, a carrot. Talia plucks a carrot from her garden. Lovely. Oh, by the way, yeah, the uh, the carrot from that one quest 
It will. It does respawn in the garden after using it, but the respawned carrot, you have absol absolutely no use for it. It's completely worthless at this point. I don't even know why it respawns. Hungry Boar Tavern. Talia, Marva, how is your garden? I noticed you're growing carrots this year. That'll fart. He can hear and see just fine. He likes to pretend he's deaf and dumb so people will feel sorry for him. That's how he got dinner. Who are you talking about? This guy? I can't hear you. Speak up. I can't see you. Come closer. Oh, okay. That guy. Ronald makes the best meat pies, don't you think? Talia Mava, listen to me play. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. You're playing all those instruments uh, on that one on ukulele there. Staff members only. Oh, come on. You're the only guy that works here. Have you seen Kenya? She said she would meet me for a drink candle marks ago. What's a candle mark? Is that is that like 12 parsecs or something? Talia Marva, how is your beautiful grandmother doing? Bring her in for a drink sometime. How is business? Business would be good if, it, if I could find that good-for-nothing whiskey jack. Bastard made off with a couple bottles of my best mead. You know, I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of mead. Sorry. Uh, Skyrim reference there. Get out of my way, kid. A cemetery. Apparently in the entire history of this town, only four people had died. You have no desire to dig up a grave in your village. However, other towns... Really? That's kind of awful. That's awesome. Okay, I'll stop. Now, to find Whiskey Jack, we go through this little pathway here. And there he is. Whiskey Jack has passed out. You try to wake him, but the bastard is out cold. What is it with calling this guy a bastard? You search Whiskey Jack's sleeping body and find one full bottle of bead. Ooh, a chest. You open the chest and find two gold pennies. Awesome. Oh, it's that. Uh, it's that bitch. World-renowned writer. He is renowned by the world for his writing. He writes, he writes things that are renowned by the world. When you enter an area, oh, we already did this. That's what he wrote. That's what he's world-renowned for writing. Talia Marva, how was your family? It means family as in my grandmother. Good, how was the book coming? It was coming along until my quill split. Well, so much for the world-renowned writer. He won't be renowned much longer if his quill split. Let's go shopping. Good morning, Talia. What can I get for you, dear? Equipment. All right, 18 gold, practice sword. Uh, I just need two more gold to get a practice sword, so I'll just wait for that. I don't have time for talking. Some of us have to work for a living. Okay. Hurry on, little girl. I've got work to do. Good luck with Matt Avril. Whatever you do, don't look into her eyes. Just kidding. She's not so mean. What is it, child? Hurry. I have much work to do. Ask to borrow an apprentice. It's not for me to decide, child. Let's ask them. Her, hey, boys, who wants to escort this little lady to the mainland? Yeah, my name's Talia, okay? I heard about this one. Mad Avery, I wouldn't name her, so she's running her away. You guys won't name me either. You're calling me child or little girl. Tis not true. Avery's sending me away. The mainland's full of scum and filth. Thieves everywhere. We'd be fools to go wandering there. Will none of you help me? Fine. I'm braver than all of you combined. I shall go alone. I'll go. I'll not have one of our girls wandering the outside unprotected. I owe my life to you, Devin. Your sister will not be happy, though. 
My sister's fights are her own. Devin joins you on your journey. Devin Perry, how could you agree to something so stupid? I demand you stay behind. Eh. Okay, Marsh Tea, which is good for poisons. And a hand dagger. I'll equip her with the hand dagger. And I'm going to sell the Marsh Tea and then buy a uh, practice sword for Devon. And the reason I'm doing this is because uh, there's nothing on, in Elden that's poisonous. I'll never need the Marsh Tea for, for right now. All right. Let's sell the Marsh Tea. Oops, I'm not selling my bread. Equip him with the practice sword. Since he is the strongest, I'll give him the best weapons. When I get enough money, I'll buy her a uh, practice sword, and I'll buy both of them two hats, which will increase your defense by one. Whenever I go to a new town in an RPG, I always make sure that I optimize all my weapons and armor. That's what I've been doing in my Final Fantasy playthrough. Oh, my best friend, Talia. Be brave and make us proud. Write often. I won't write anything. Huh? A feather. You pick up the feather and put it in your backpack. There is a writer I know who's renowned by the world for writing his writings that are renowned. So I'm going to give him this feather so he can continue writing some renowned stuff. But the world is renowned for him. I need to stop. Okay. Here we go. You brought me a quill. You're a wonderful child. Take this for your reward. Five gold pennies? That's it? You're a world-renowned writer. That's all the royalties you have? No wonder. Uh, no wonder. Uh, I don't think you're that world-renowned at all. Maybe you'd be able to afford more if you'd use ebooks. I hear those give you a lot of returns as a writer, but no, you got to be old-fashioned. Just write everything with a quill. No ebooks for you. I really need to stop. Okay, let's go talk to Grandmother. Devon Perry, see that no harm comes to my granddaughter. I almost forgot. I baked some fresh bread loaves for your journey, and take my charm for good luck. Now, I have no idea what this good luck charm does, and by those question marks there, neither does the game. I think it does something later on, but I have no idea what. I'll let Devin Perry be my uh, the in, in the head because he has the practice sword and he'll be able to fight the snakes. Probably should sure turn that mead to uh, this fella. You found my bottles of mead. How'd you get them from the bastard? The, what's again with this bastard thing? No matter. Here, take this reward as well as as. Take this bread as a well-deserved reward. They just... It's, it's, I mean... Yeah, I guess he's kind of a bastard, but why... Can you think of any other insult? Like, you know, asshole? Jerk? Stupid head? I don't know. Just bastards. It's only, it's only insult they know. Die. Oh. I forgot. You need to fight some snakes for me. And I should probably heal Alia, Talia. That's crap, I did it again. Okay, let's save it. And Talia just died. She's dead. We killed her. Oh well, we could sleep it off. I mean, I mean, literally too. You, could, you if you rest in this game, you won't be dead anymore. You could actually sleep off death in this game.
Oh, Talia's class too. Oh, and yeah, I like Final Fantasy. Um, KO characters can still level up after battles. How much money do we have? 18. Not, not much longer until um, I have enough to buy her a practice sword. Also, as far as grinding goes, I normally don't leave. Um, I, well, I don't leave the uh, this uh, Elden until I'm at least level ten, just because the mainland can get really hard unless you're at a higher level. What do I need to do again? For well, the second and last time, go to Thais. What do I need to do again? Avril refuses to answer you. Honestly, I'd be fascinated if that conversation happened at all since Talia's dead. What's my what's Devin's level anyway? It doesn't say like what my class is. One breadcrumb. Nothing. Nothing. I mean, I guess that makes sense because nor more normally snakes don't carry stuff, but it's an RPG. You should have had something. There we go. Yep, never mind me. Just mugging snakes for their loose change. Now, I'm pretty sure I have accumulated enough gold to buy both the hats I want and a practice sword for Talia. And then we'll go sleep off her death, and then we will uh, talk about progressing further on our journey. Oh, wait, I don't need to go there. Equipment. Buy a practice sword. And two hats. Let's give her that practice sword. A hat. And let's give him a hat. And let's sell that dagger. Because we won't need that garbage anymore. You're going to the mainland? Could you take this letter? Could you take this letter to Harold? He's in Devonshire buying supplies. I need him to help me with poor Ralphie. Sure. Georgia hands you a letter. All right. We'll find Harold in Devonshire, which will be this, the next town we go to once we leave uh, Elden. So let's go to sleep, and that way uh, 
Well, Talia will stop being dead. Oh, by the way, that music that plays when you sleep is stolen directly from Final Fantasy VII. It's the same music that plays when you rest at ends, uh, ends in that game. But, yep. Our equipment is optimized. Talia is alive and well and has a new practice sword. I mean, I would be kind of curious, too, if I had died and I woke up, you know, woke up from it, and next thing I know, I have a sword and a, and a new hat. So, Devon's Class 3. And there is the ship that takes us out of here. But, as I said, I want to grind for some levels. I also want to grind to be able to buy some more goods, because I want to have as much, uh, you know, healing items in my inventory as I can carry. So what I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to go grind and then by, by time you, uh, you know, I will, uh, basically after I do that, I'll save the game. So I'll pass the save, that save file on to Yelhalek and she will continue from there in part three. So by part three, Yelhalek will be playing again and I'll, my stats will be buffed up. So in the meantime, please like and subscribe to both of our channels, follow both of our Twitters, like both of our um, Facebook pages, and I will see you again tomorrow for my next Final Fantasy playthrough. And you will st and please stay tuned for next week's um, part of Armin's Prophecy featuring Yelhalek. Have a good one. Bye.